coolest story about NNU is when, they, when, when the Haiti earthquake occurred, the disaster, and everybody said, who's going to do something about Haiti? Um, right, and everything was moving so slow and nothing was going on. NNU went on their website and put up a said, send us resources. We're already committed a huge amount of resources. Send us resources. Help us to send nurses to Haiti. And I interviewed some of the nurses, and I said, well, what if you get down there in that air base, and they say, oh, you've got to go through all of the, the restrictions to get your right passes and stuff like that. And the nurses I interviewed, NNU nurses from Oakland, California, said, screw that. We'll jump the fences and start taking care of people. Right. And, you know, you've been in New Orleans. We've had nurses in New York. We feel strongly that wherever a disaster is happening, um, the nurses will get there to make sure that we can do whatever we can to help people. So, again, that, that is uh, the philosophy in which we live. And, um, you know, one way is physically taking care of you. The other way is to work with all of you to make sure that we do really have a better health care in this country that really does take care of everybody. So, thank you. Karen, you've been working. You guys worked. I'm afraid, no. No, no, you worked to flip the script. <laughs> But you work to flip the script all the time. That's a huge part of what you try to do. And you've been stunningly successful in California, where you're where CNA, with a root union of, of NNU. Uh, you just say no when they try to cut, when they try to do. And I was in California right before Christmas. They took all the nurses out on Christmas Eve. Uh, and, and amazingly enough, they settled the contract real quick. Um, your union has adopted a policy of, of militancy. And host various. And when you see it around the country, you jump in. Now, when I when we were doing our fight in Wisconsin, right. uh, the Wisconsin fight was great, but it was not let. It was not organized by labor. Nope. It came too fast. In fact, we got Wisconsinites here. It came too fast. Labor was seeing it happen, and it was exciting. And labor gave support, but there wasn't a message. And in you cut loose money, and I think it was seven organizers sent them into Wisconsin, and you did it with a single message, which was, stop blaming the workers, blame Wall Street. And it was a, that was a transformational moment in that struggle. And it tells a little bit about how any of you is, you kind of look around the country for Main Street fights to get involved in, and to, to bring that, that big picture economic message. Well, I think, you know, one of our messages is that, you know, no one group can do this alone. And we have to work with every union and other, not even every union, but everyone. And that when we see a struggle happening, whether it's within our state or someplace in the country, uh, we feel very strongly that, you know, we need to get in there and continue with the message that, which, you know, I always say this, it's very entertaining who the PR people are, because they really get out there with the message quick that somehow your neighbor, your friend, your fellow worker is to blame for you, you know, losing your job. In reality, we need to turn it and make them understand, no, that's not the case. It's not your neighbor. It's not the fireman. It's not the teacher. It is big business. It is Wall Street. And we need to lay it at their door. And once we lay it at their door, we need to get everybody in this country around it and move this forward. The only thing who's going to move this forward is by numbers. It's not going to be by, I hate to say this, by who's in Washington. It tends to be somewhat of a lost cause. The only thing I think that is going to make a difference is, as you say, is people get up one by one and understand the message. We didn't do this to ourselves. Washington let big business take them over, and now they're trying to take the rest of us over, and we need to take this back. Um, so we are, we are in the fights, and we will continue to be in the fights to make sure that we stay on message. We know what will fix this. We need to tax Wall Street as the first step, and we need to do it together to prove that we all together can make a change. And we can do it, which is, as we say, it's not a tax on the people in this country. It's a tax for the people in this country. It's about time we had a tax that actually did something for us instead of constantly taking out of our paychecks for those that still have paychecks. Um, so, you know, we are vested in fights. We are vested in keeping the message going. We are invested in keeping it clear what we're looking for in this country. And we don't want anyone to be able to dilute it down by trying to change people and get them thinking, oh, well, maybe that's not, you know, it is people, you know, the people that live next door. It's their, pro it's their fault that I'm having trouble paying my mortgage. It can't be that, and we need to, and we do do it by going to different places. And you know, we will battle locally when a union is on a picket line. We as nurses, we will show up. 
it occupied. We came in, in different places to set up stations to help them to make sure that there was some kind of medical attention, or at least there was somebody there that could guide them to go to places. So, and you because know, you were there, right. the cops didn't break up a lot of occupied sites because right. they didn't want to drag nurses out. They don't like to, yeah, which, you know, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been dragged out a lot. But the is, you know, like I said, we, we will not back, we're not going to back down, we're not going to back away, and we're not going to, you know, let this happen. So you will see us, we will continue to be there. When you have a battle, do not be surprised if in your state you see nurses show up. Right. Um, because we do recognize it. And we had our, you know, in a red scrub to say to you that you're not in this alone. And we understand that we all do have to fight this together, or there will be nothing left. Um, and we're going to turn around and you'll be standing there by yourself. And that can't happen to make a change in this country. So. Is that a cool union? Mm -hmm.